mystery continues to deepen surrounding the disappearance of two moms in the Oklahoma panhandle. Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly, both from a small town in southwest Kansas, vanished more than a week ago. The car they were in found abandoned on the side of a rural highway. Investigators are saying foul play is suspected. That area is reportedly known for guns, drugs, human trafficking. Our team, our News Nation team on the ground, now attempting to retrace their steps to piece together what might have happened. Let's bring in correspondent Laura Engel, who is live in Kansas in their small hometown there. Uh, Laura, what can you tell us about the latest on the search? Well, good morning, Nicole. We just checked in with the OSBI, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation, which is leading um, this search. And they say they have nothing to share with us, but will tell us when they do. We keep calling and checking in with them. Um, right now, we can tell you that there is no sign of these women, of course, and there is no sign of an actual search that we have been able to see uh, since we've been here. We've been traversing the area for the last three days. My team has at least Oklahoma City um, into the panhandle. We've been driving. Driving around, we have some new exclusive video to share with you. We drove to the rural area where Veronica Butler and Jessica Kelly's vehicle was found abandoned with what the OSBI tells us had signs of foul play, as you mentioned. And you can see in this video that the spot where the car was found was 1,000 feet from the main highway, Highway 95, on a dirt road. There is now a white cross with the women's names on it, adorned with yellow ribbons. We just found this yesterday. We don't know who placed that cross there at the spot, but clearly people are feeling that things are not going to turn out well here. Uh, in this new drone footage we shot yesterday as well, we have another angle of the road, which was just three miles from Butler and Kelly's intended destination on the 30th. Why they would be so far off the main highway is still unclear if they pulled off themselves or were forced off the road. You know, there are still many questions about the Four Corners abandoned gas stations. That's the name of it, where the women were supposed to have a supervised custodial meetup with the legal guardian of Butler's two small children, the grandmother. Investigators will not confirm if there was, in fact, someone waiting with the children there, who called the police, and how long it took to discover their abandoned vehicle. Family members of both women have been speaking, have not been speaking to the media, reportedly on the advice of law enforcement. While the investigation is ongoing, Butler, we want to tell you, was in that bitter custody battle for her two children and had filed a substantial request with the court just 10 days before she vanished to regain custody in even more visitation. The kid's father reportedly in a drug and alcohol rehab facility, which is where he reportedly was when the women went missing. Now, we have been reaching out to multiple law enforcement agencies on this case, not just the OSBI. We've even gone as far as to reaching out to the governors of both states who are referring us to the OSBI and the KBI here in Kansas, where we stand here today. We've reached out to the FBI as well. Now that we're dealing with, you know, multiple states, uh, still no word, but we are here on the ground looking for answers, and we'll bring you more as we get it. Back yeah, to you. 10 days uh, now into them being missing. All right, Laura, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.